Now, what motivates me to do music and art and everything is my ancestors, those who came before me, who were just so magnificent and brilliant and never had the chance to really be shown, to really be highlighted and spotlighted and really got, and really, they never got the recognition they should have. So I've got to do for them what, if they were in my position, they would do for me. I have to open up my heart because your heart's like an umbrella, your mind is like a parachute. They both only work when they're open. So I've got to open up my mind and my heart. I've got to let them in and let them out. I had to let them in so I could process all of their information. Now I have to let them out to the world. And you know, I let them out through art, through my music, through everything I do. They are with me at all times. I mean, California, unfortunately, out of all the places I've been, at least Southern California, has one of the highest rates of cultural illiteracy. Even though there's all these cultures here, it's like none of them don't know anything about each other. Everybody's so busy going to auditions and everything. It's like, if you've got a look, forget a book. It's like, I'm on a mission to go to an audition, give me a reality show, and that's the problem. The, I would say, 60 to 80 percent of all racial racial acts and, and hate crimes are due to the high level of cultural illiteracy. If we just knew a little something about each other's cultures and we really took the time, we would see we're all one. We only got a little bit of time on this planet. And in that little bit of time, we've got to unite with as many people as possible, as quick as possible. So that's what I try to do through music and through art. I do, I'm not here to make profits. I'm trying to turn the people into profits. And that is basically the story of Tony B. Conscious. I be, and I want you to be, conscious. Peace.